Come with me as I tour Atlanta's newest lounge, which is the American Express Centurion Lounge. Now, this particular lounge is located in Concourse E. Concourse E is where a lot of the international flights take place, and I think this is a perfect place for this. Now, this lounge has been in the works for the last five years, and it just opened up about two weeks ago, so I'm happy I got a chance to experience it. I mean, look, look, look at the window. I mean, when you walk in, the sheer size of it all kind of takes your breath away, and it was literally beautiful. Now, I've been in the other Centurion lounges, especially the one in JFK, and I just don't think that it matches the size of the airport. you got a lot of people coming in, and they need a lounge that's this size. So take a look. Look at the ceiling. Like, it's literally gorgeous. Whoever designed this, I take my hat off to you because it was so beautiful. There were so many di different types of seating options and so many different rooms, so many different chairs. It's really perfect for any sort of traveler, and this is not a sponsored post. I initially chose to sit here in the middle, and then I continue to look around and walk around. So I sat in about five different places by the time I ended this particular video. Now, this lounge has quite a few outdoor seating sections. I think there are four. Uh, this was one of the biggest areas and probably the prettiest with its little garden feature and uh, totally worth coming to. This was about 1030 at night and I felt great outside. Like I love sitting out here and there were a few people enjoying their food in this same area. Let's talk lounge access for a second, though. So if you're trying to get in here, you do have to hold one of the American Express cards. I think it has to be at least a platinum card. Or if you are a Delta traveler like myself, you can have the Delta reserve card and be flying on Delta that day, and you will have access to the lounge. Here's the part that we all want to see. What does the food look like? Now, I told you before that I got into the lounge around 1030 at night. It might have even been close to 11 and there was not much left. Now, I did not show you how many plates and cups were left on all of the tables. I think that they're still trying to figure out their system for cleaning up, their system for making sure that everything looks neat and tidy for the guest. Uh, they probably have a few more weeks before they get that under their belt, but I did go in again today and it was much better. Um, so they're, they're figuring it out, but there wasn't that many spaces that didn't have dirty dishes up there. Um, this lounge has two different bars in it. One is a full service bar serving alcoholic drinks and regular sodas. And the other one is a whiskey bar. Um, so two really cool features. And the vibe that I got from this lounge is that there was a lot of soul food. Um, they had mac and cheese, collard greens. They had chicken. They had buttermilk cornbread. This is what my plate looked like. Oh, and they also had gumbo. And that's pretty impressive for a really late night in the lounge. I would say that the Centurion Lounge had the best food and definitely the best presentation. And I hope that they're able to keep up this product years and years later. Everything was delicious. The lounge is absolutely beautiful. They're going to figure out their system, I'm sure, to keep everything clean. But I would say it's well worth the trip. And if you have the credit cards, um, you should definitely check out this lounge in Atlanta.